We have another eight hours of travel the next day that uh, happen without incident. So you make another eight miles closer to the cave of the berserker. Um, okay, and that is what oh. is going on there. Oh. <laughs> I'll say for flavor reasons that over the course of said eight hours, I'm slowly repairing bits and pieces of my armor that it actually looks really nice by the end of the eight hours. Nice. So you are traveling on board with two... Uh, you're like sitting at the front of the uh, Chocobo pulled sleigh. Or, uh, yeah, essentially. <laughs> And um, you have Rosie and um, the other Chocobo, whose name I can't recall. Josie. 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 Right. Josie and Rosie. Is that is that right? Yeah. Aww. That's great. <laughs> Josie and Rosie, uh, the Axe Beaks, are running ahead, and they are pulling a sleigh with Sarge, Sam, and uh, Nuval on board. I'm assuming two of you and Dwarf have the Axe speaks. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, I'm riding Josie. Okay. Where is where is he? So the Blue Man group are sitting on the sleigh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, making your way across the tundra. Um... <laughs> I'm speaking of Blue Man Group, I imagine I'm making some kind of percussion sound with armor repair. Yeah. So, uh... Y'all start trying to put a song together? I'm like, no, wait, wait, no. Don't even. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't. Uh, the day so right, musical segment. Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, the day passes without innocent. You, um, who is... Who is, uh... Pulling shifts tonight? I'll go first. I'll go second. <clears throat> um, actually, I make a suggestion that I just cast the um, alarm spell as a ritual, and that everyone can just go to sleep. Hell yeah. Are you sure about that? Oh, that's a <laughs> dream. <joke. laughs> um, um, be fine. I guess... I guess it, in universe, any look doubt on anyone's face, I will go, uh, and I'll, I'll also keep watch on my alarm system. Uh, the only reason I that say that get... is because um, crag cats have a particular uh, trait called non-detection, in that the cat can't be targeted or detected by any divination magic or perceived through scrying sensors. Just, you know, that alarm, that's a good idea, but those crag cats, they can get right past that. Just a heads up. Just um, a little... It says the cat lord. Yeah. If, well, the question is, do I know that, and does the people well, in the... I'm telling you. That? Okay. So, well, I, 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 no, this is my character's voice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sam, Sam, I would first. still keep first watch, because there are things not on this plane that kind of want me, so, yeah. <laughs> Why don't we do alarm and keep watch? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, you all dangerous. settle down on the plains. Uh, you see the the rising mountains before you uh, in the distance as the night kind of winds down. It's not really winding down. It's more of uh, twilight turning into a darker twilight. Um, but you all have the sense that um, Nuval you see a uh, somewhere in the distance you see a single light kind of shining in the uh, in the darkness but it it seems to be bobbing up and down lightly and then it sort of stays still and just floats about three feet off the ground How far away? Oh, it would be about, um, you'd say around a hundred yards. A hundred yards. A football field. Away. Okay, like that helps. 
<laughs> Let's be real. Let's be real. I, I'm assuming specifically American football. Yeah, 300 feet. Wow. I watch football, so it does help. <laughs> well, I, I don't. And that does, I like football field. I'm like, well, is it 150 yards of feet or does that include? I don't know. It's a touch. Yeah, three feet length. per yard, 100 feet. Yeah. Uh, it's it's you know about the distance from home to first base you know. Oh, I, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't. Watch, Ninety feet. I don't, I don't watch football, but just... I did go to high school in America, so I know <laughs> <Yeah>. what. <laughs> been on a football field before. Okay. Guys. I know a soccer field is slightly larger than a football field. Regardless, it's a distance away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean the jump wasn't that strong. You're not supposed to you know, beat it to death. <laughs> Ooh, art. Oh, I'm sitting. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. Yeah, same, man. Um, otherwise, though, oh. the light uh, kind of floats there for a moment. Um, do you do anything? Um, I will go wake up Sarge and say, hey, look, there's a light. You're investigative like me. <laughs> so we want to check this out or just want to ignore it? Uh, it's not coming towards us, right? No, it is keeping a distance. Uh, can I... I'll say, well, I am curious, but, uh, but not let us get in danger. Let's, uh, let's have expendable things do it. And I'll send my familiar skip to float over a little bit towards it to... And I'll like start warging through it. I so. just like you calling it expendable, but we'll we'll get to that later. Um, okay. First he, off, you're not horrible. actually in the you're not actually in the thing. That's just part of what you can control. Okay. Oh, it oh, is expendable. Oh, oh, look at you telling me how I operate in this world. Oh, you you're told right. me I'm following no, you're right, the you're rules you're right, you're that right, you right. have established. Uh, sorry. <laughs> um. Thor just see sorry, now Nuval just sees me have like a quick <laughs> angry conversation with my with myself. Yeah. Your your familiar looks at you. I'm used to it now. Like, acts really bizarrely towards you. Uh and he kind of shoots off in the distance. As you see uh the familiar the like has a little bit of a light as it shines <clears throat> and floats towards the light in the distance. Uh, roll perception, and you're going to be perceiving through your familiar. Yeah, what are? I'm sorry, I need to pull up owl stats. Okay. Is it dark? You said perception. Mm-hmm. Hey, twenty-one. Okay. You see, through the darkness, you can definitely tell that this is a humanoid figure. And the light that it is holding is coming from a lantern that quickly shuts off as it sees your familiar coming towards it. You see the figure run north ahead of you into the distance um, before um, your familiar is able to catch up with it. I am able to catch up with it is what you're saying? Your, your familiar is not able to catch up with it. Not it's, able to. But you Got can it. tell that okay. it's a humanoid who was holding a lantern. I'll tell Nuval that and just like, all right, maybe keep an eye out, I guess. Uh, it's gone. I can't, I can't find it anymore. And it went north east, heading in the direction of the cave of the berserker ahead of you. Okay. Maybe that's some form of scout. It might be some form of scout for the people we're tracking, so... Just assume going into that they know that we're coming. Okay. And Seems likely, yeah. With that, there are no further incidents through the night. The night passes without further incident. All right. Use up. Everybody use one ration. I am I going to go look for food. Yeah. Um, same. That's a fifteen. Can I borrow? 
someone else's uh, ration, I don't really have it. Like, I know it says one on my character sheet, but for backstory reasons, I don't. I uh, we're, oh we have none. We're go find some more. Okay, I, I have, have one left. ration left. I mean... Go Can hunting. Ooh, go hunting. Hunter. Yeah, I'll go hunting. Um, survival? Yeah. All right. I will... Let's see. Ooh, 21. Hell yeah, we're getting... We're eating tonight. Or today. Find her out. Um, is, this, is this happening before we go to sleep or in the morning? This is morning. Do we do we eat our rations in the morning? You know what? That's a good question. Which would Sorry. you want to do? Um, Maybe. Well, I mean, we'd eat throughout the day, but just starting, but, uh, you know, you have one for the day in the morning. That makes sense, I think. To you, mm-hmm. you managed to find a small deer in the wild um, with your 21. Uh, this is a uh, what would be considered a medium-sized game, game, um, and it would take you approximately one hour to take it down, and it would provide ra- four rations. Okay. I'd like to assist in uh, cutting it, prepping it, in. Okay. Um, in which case, it would. It would still. Let's say that it would like... take uh, approximately an an hour to catch it, and then what would have taken an hour to prep it only takes ten minutes with help. So it's <laughs> sorry, yeah. Your helping is is important, and I'm, I'm happy for you to help. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to do the right tools for the job. So I have proper cook utensils. Fantastic. Stuff to actually... um, you, pre- you prepare a meal of venison for everyone. Ooh. Um, I got a uh, 23 on my survival. Did I... You got a 23? Okay, you yeah. managed to find a small den of rabbits. Um, a a oh, family no. of rabbits. And that oh, no. I know. What are you talking about? Rabbits are delicious. <clears throat> yeah, you you gotta, you I'm not going to murder a family of rabbits to eat. No, I'm going to keep moving. Well, you can't just murder one. Because then yeah. they'll be orphans. Yeah, you you're right. Them. I'm gonna keep it moving. Right. It it's, it was basically watching it down. Murdering and, um, My character doesn't have any reservations about that. It, it Thorf is the only one who found it. Two, you found the uh, deer. Uh, took it down. It was a, a medium doe. Uh, Thorf, you find a, a den of rabbits. About eight rabbits. No. Eight rabbits. It's eight rations. No, I see them. They're cute. They are family, and they're eating. And I leave them alone. Okay. I am on board with role playing. This is this <laughs> is what your character would do. I like it. Fantastic. I like it. Um, being a cleric, I do you have 15 any survival? Okay, oh, it's still great. I I, have, I rolled an eight on my survival. I would like some. If, if someone could help me with rations, that would be very helpful. Please. Yeah, I'm about to go hungry. Uh, what, um, what'd you say about my cleric? Oh, wait. Yo, what'd you ask about cleric? I was just wondering if you had anything that could help with that being a cleric. Mm. It would help with what? Getting Create food? food or water? I don't have... No, I can't create anything. Is that on my first level? Yeah, damn it. I just know that is a spell that clerics can have. Yeah, they can be prepared to eat food or water? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah you remember when we were playing or a level three spell. Mm. Yeah, you remember when we were playing in that um the jungle? It's game? third level. It's third level, yeah. maybe next time. Or okay. next next level, I think. You're fine. I don't even have any third level okay. spells. You're good. Yeah, next level. Um dwarf. Unable to find or unwilling to <clears throat> Well now I did eat today. <laughs> I ate, I ate my last one today with okay. giving the cat one, too. Yeah. But then okay. I went and looked for more, but passed up. So you currently have no further rations, and the amount of right. rations that were found by two use hunting is used by the remainder of the group. So, 
It seems Enough. that everyone is down to zero rations. Is that right? I have one more. Everyone gang up onto you to I survive. I assumed I ate <laughs> from the <day>. 15 <laughs> yeah, uh, In the middle of the night, uh, Sarge fills his sock filled with soap. And... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Psychic blade, you. All right. You all head towards the. Uh, let's say it's been. It's now nine a.m. in the morning. You had one hour of hunting and preparing food. Managed to do so quickly with the help of Sam cooking. So it is around nine thirty in the a.m. of the twenty ninth of Hammer. You are four hours from the cave of the berserker. How many uh, hours away? Four. It's approximately four miles. Oh, uh, let's get it. All right. During our um, last leg of the trip, I have a question for the DM. Yeah. Our in is it breaking even while we're not there, or is it just uh, do we have to roll that later on? You're gonna you're gonna roll uh, business operations, like. Oh well, that's only if you're present. It breaks even while you're there, but okay. Unfortunately, um. There's going to be some issues that you're going to have to deal with when you get back because you guys never found the uh, druid in the woods. Ooh. Damn it! I knew we should have found the druid. We have a long list of stuff. You have a long list of things. The world exists outside of us. It's good. to do, yeah. Uh, As you're heading towards the Cave of the Berserker, um, you're making your way along the cliffs of the mountaintop. Uh, passing over the river and heading up to the uh, mouth of the cave. However, as you're making your way there, you spy up ahead a, a wooden bridge. And on this wooden bridge, you see a humanoid person. Um, suddenly, before you can tell exactly what is happening, a blizzard sweeps in and and takes over. I'm going to uh, put you guys into this random encounter. This is going to be the last one before you arrive at the mouth of the cave. And this character will mumbles hitting this last. Um, let's see. Where is fog of war? Okay. Because it is going to be a blizzard. Your uh, ability to see is going to be limited to 30 feet in front of you. The last thing you see though, is a person and i'm going to go ahead and move you all to this map you see a single person and if you'll place your icons down here at i see nothing yeah bottom i see two ghosts of dwarf what the fuck (laughs) i placed myself randomly somewhere okay yeah place yourself can't see Scroll down? Scroll down, yeah. Oh. I really misplaced myself. Uh, I see you, don't worry. I'll place you. Yeah, can, can you move me somewhere reasonable? Yeah. Um, you see a wooden bridge in front of you all as you approach, and you see the human over here who is uh, a familiar sight, just barely visible through the uh, blizzard. And she this seems to be the, holding it, up a single lantern that is shining light through the blizzard visible uh, to you all. Hey, is that that hunter lady? It is. The one we already met? Yes. Who t- warned us about the yetis. Or the right. yeti. What's this Ooh. thing in the middle of the sliver? Well, um, get closer and find out. <laughs> yeah, four, I, I, I think I can see what it is. I'm I can't to... even get on the goddamn screen, man. Can somebody help me? <laughs> <else? laughs> you placed that. That does seem go. very similar to what I get, like. right? Yeah. Um, also, everyone, go ahead and roll initiative. AK, we're in combat. Hey. Okay, so you see the. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, never mind. All right. 
13. 15. 22. Uh, zero. Uh, 20. How? Wait, did you say zero? Yeah. How, how is that? I got a one minus one. <laughs> you have a minus two initiative? We <clears throat> talked about this. Uh, Dex is my dump stat. Okay. I love I, it. Yeah, strength, strength is mine. Yeah, that's fair. Your character sits strength down. Strength is mine. This is one out. Um. Okay. Ooh, she got a nice roll. Okay, let me hear from everyone one more time. What what their? Uh, let's start with Newball. What was yours? Twenty. Twenty. Okay. And Sarge, what was yours? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. And to you, what was yours? Thirteen. 13. Okay. I know yours, Dwarf. Uh, Sam, what was yours? Uh, mine was 15. Okay. All right, everyone has their uh, things in order. <clears throat> Let's see if I've got everything set up correctly on that turn order. I think I should be higher. You are first, Sarge. Now, you have a visibility uh, of, uh, in a blizzard, you have a visibility of uh, 30 feet, I think, or maybe less. Let me double check that before we get going. But yeah, go ahead and roll your thing while I'm checking this out. Uh, I'm okay not being able to see. I will come up to here where I'm like equal to new ball. And I'm gonna warg through my familiar and send him over here. Okay. Um, you uh, visibility in a blizzard is reduced to 30 feet. Um, creatures without goggles or other eye protection have disadvantage on wisdom perception checks that rely on sight due to blowing snow. However, with your um, familiar, you are able to clearly which has keen hearing and sight. Clearly and and easily see exactly what you're um, approaching uh, it appears that there is a um, let's see 30 feet right let me, let me double check. yeah he's he's right here he's in uh, this square okay and with that um, you are also able to see that it is not just a single yeti it is actually two yeah. yetis that have cornered this woman as she travels um, ahead of you all on your path. So uh, I'm gonna bonus action uh, uh, light uh, change my density and make myself lighter, and I think that's it. I'll say to everybody, I'll relay all that information to everybody. Okay, there is a strong wind. You are up. <laughs> I psychically relay that message to every uh, in everyone's heads. You hear everyone in your heads. You hear uh, the hunter that I that, that we met before. She's in danger. There's two yeti about to attack her. We need to get across the bridge to save her. Also, Sam, don't be alarmed by this. I'm slightly psychic. I can talk to people in their minds. Just don't read my mind, and we'll be okay. What's that? <laughs> Um, and with that, it is, you have scouted out the area, but one of the yetis approaches the woman and begins to, she begins to back up closer to the ledge here as it approaches. It is now her turn and she is going to fire a single arrow at one of them, trying to get them to leave her alone. Where is shit? There it is. Uh, longbow. And she hits. No, she misses. No, she hits. She hits. Um, and that is a 1d8 to the closest thing. However, it is pretty much undeterred with only 7 damage. Okay. It is now... Whose turn is it? It is now Nuval's turn. You are up. So you said with uh, out goggles, our vision is more or less 30 feet, and we have dis um, disadvantage on or saving throws for wisdom, and, or not uh, for check for wisdom perception, basically. Yeah, right? 
Any creature that is concentrating on a spell in a blizzard must succeed on a DC 10 constitution saving throw at the end of its turn or lose concentration on the spell unless the creature is sheltered against the elements. For example, in an Fuck. igloo. Um, also, in addition, any uh, ranged attacks happen with disadvantage in a blizzard. Uh, does that include magic? Uh, <clears throat> the wind extinguishes open flames, disperses fog, erases tracks in the snow, and makes flying by non-magical means nearly impossible. Uh, a creature falls at the end of its turn if it is flying by non-magical means and not, cannot hover. Uh, imposes disadvantage on weapon ranged weapon attack rolls. It doesn't say anything about magic. Yeah. Is uh, the familiar okay? Is it skip or zip? It's it's propelled by magical means, so I'm, I I yeah. I let it go do so. Yeah, yeah. it's a uh, skip. 10, okay. Fifteen. I like skip 20, better. Twenty-five. Okay, walking across the bridge Ready? in during a blizzard <laughs> is going to impose uh, difficult terrain. Okay, so it takes my full action and movement to get in there. Yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, bonus action. What can I do? Uh, doesn't count as sixty feet because I only get thirty feet of visibility. So five, ten. Nope, I can't give the hunter bardic inspiration. So yeah, I'm just going to sit here. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's my, uh, everything I can do. Sam, it is now your turn. All right. Um, I'm going to. Uh, by the way, does a helmet count or help with visibility? Yeah, you would have goggles. Uh, your your character shows goggles. You're a tinker. You have goggles. Okay. I have the anime goggles. All right. One, two. Also, three, four. also, anyone wearing uh winter clothing would possibly have goggles it would be included all right so how far does my vision extend 30 feet 30 feet you say okay. anybody wearing winter clothing would have goggles um, um it sort of stands to reason that you would have yeah that. that's what that picture looked like that one time yeah with you know riding on axe beaks and basically you'd have the, those cool Eskimo goggles where it has that single slit that lets up yeah light. So I'm going to say that because you are riding on axe beaks, you probably have goggles. Um, now, yeah, if anything, we all bought winter clothes. We should have goggles. Yeah, you, you all have goggles on, so you can all see up to 30 feet. Um, now, oh, okay. okay. So we'd be blind if we didn't have goggles, right? Yeah, essentially. Okay, cool. I got you. I got you. All right. And yeah, I am mounted. I'm, I'm trying to get the disadvantage on perception and insight checks. For, for my action, I would like to take the hide action. Okay. If that's okay. Um, let's see. Uh, love, love and you hide behind uh, this this fellow right here, Mr. Sarge. All right. Yep. There we go. <laughs> I cower. <laughs> Weird choice to hide behind me, but fine. You are like a very tall skinny um something about you just screams tank for some reason i don't know why i feel like you're just gonna you're gonna get it. i'm both a tank i have expertise in stealth i'm both a tank and a stealth uh sniper okay no, let's talk about sarge i'm the full bethesda game loadout yeah <laughs> um anyhow uh okay so you hide yeah yep okay and or at least I think I do. Eleven is probably easy to see. I think oh. it's the power. Um... Oh wow, it's a big axe beak. Yeah, they're large. He's been feeding the chicken. We have. Right. No, that's just mounting combatant. Fuck. Um. Okay. <clears throat> um... Oh wait, I messed up. I have powered steps now. I have five extra movement. Okay. If I can move right here. Okay, great. So, uh, to you, you are up next. Um, I don't want to go into this, so I'm going to dismount. 
and then move. I think you can get about here. Okay. Yeah, because that's the little terrain. And then that's all I can do because I can't see. Uh, this guy is within 30 feet of you. Oh, snap. Then I am going to throw a psychic blade at him. Okay, it's going to be with the disadvantage on range. Oh, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd be really surprised if you guys managed to save this woman. Um, it'd oh, be great. fuck off. We, she is. She lives. <laughs> that's a seven to hit? Okay, that's going to miss. Oh, okay. Should have rode that bird in there. <laughs> Not riding the bird in there. And with that, the Yeti moves over to here. And Nubal, no! And going to attack uh, Nuval here with a... Um, <clears throat> It's going to start with uh, two claw attacks. And the first one is a natural 20. Mm. And the second one is a natural 1. I'm, I'm muted, but I was going to be cutting words on the attack roll. What would that do? Uh, it would remind us by six. <laughs> Okay. Up to six. Five total. Um, Still hits me, but it's not a critical. It's not a crit. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's up to DM. If, if yeah. it crits, it crits. A crit but is a crit, a... typically. Um, yeah. yep. The only supersedes. reason I might... It supersedes any uh, dictionary. Then I'll remove the damage by five then before you roll it, since I didn't get to say anything beforehand. The only so reason I, reduce I the might damage on the crit slide five, is because he rolled a one directly after that. Um... And I'm, and I'm gonna let this not be a crit. Okay. You're still gonna take 1d6 plus 4 damage. Plus 1d6 cold damage. I'm uh, resistant to cold damage. You are. So take 6 damage and then 1 and a half damage. So take 2 damage. Take 8 damage total. 1d6 plus Ooh. 4 plus 2. Wait. Hey, oh. all of that work I got from going up a level is now gone. Mm -hmm. uh, lastly, hey. Chilling Gaze. The Yeti targets one creature it can see within 30 feet of it. If the target can see the Yeti, the target must succeed on a DC 13 constitution saving throw against his this magic or take 10 3d6 cold damage and then be paralyzed for one minute, unless it is immune to cold damage. Are you immune to cold damage? <laughs> resistant. You're resistant. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Make a constitution saving throw. <clears throat> My god. That is a... 12. You, 12? Yeah. Alright. You are going to take... 3d6 cold damage, but it's going to be resisted. So take only 4 damage. Um, you're going to be paralyzed for 1 minute, but you can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turn, ending the effect on itself on a, on a success. So, you're going to be paralyzed. Yay! Until you roll and beat it. Cool? That works. All right. Chilling gaze. I'm immune to it for an hour, it says. So that's good. <clears throat> yes, after this. All oh, right. if it's successful or if the effect ends, am I? Yes, so I'm, I'm immune for an hour. Great. Thorf, you were up. You were riding a axe beak. Keep wanting to say chocobo. You can. <laughs> I am riding a chocobo. We're flavoring it for me. Um... Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna move right up to the left of to you. Uh, if can you grab that for me? Because I can't grab the axe beak at at the same time on my phone. Um, but up there, and then I want to get a read on this uh, this this uh, this being up here. Does it look like is this a humanoid? The person? It's a humanoid. The this, yeti. The yeti, the yeti yes. is considered to be a not a humanoid. 
It is not a person. Can I find out what he is? He is a large monstrosity. Fuck. I prepared the wrong spells because I thought we'd be talking to barbarians. <laughs> yeah, that's why I chose um, one of my new spells specifically. And that's why I started dang, drinking just dang, now. This is going to be fun. Dang, dang, dang. <laughs> Dang, dang. Uh, six feet. Okay, I'm... Uh, fuck, I didn't... I'm... Uh, spiritual weapon. <laughs> I'm going... Wait, let me... What's the range on that? You might know. Hmm. The range is 60 feet. Okay, spiritual weapon right by that dude. I've created a floating spectral, um, shark... It's, uh, yes, floating spectral shark, a land, a shark on the land, shark that swims on the land, uh, fence to the left and right. Um, and it gets to make an attack on that guy. And on hit, does this, uh, spectral magic weapon have disadvantage? Uh, not if it's a melee. The, not if you it? Yep, are it's a melee, melee attack over there. It's All melee. Right. I'm going to drop in a uh, little sword and give you control of it. I think um, that'll represent cool. your spectral weapon. Melee attack. That's a three, and it misses. Let's just. Or it's a three plus. Is his AC nine? <laughs> uh, no. His AC is not nine. Okay. Well, then I have missed. But there is that still. There is still the shark there, um, antagonizing the beast. Okay. You should be able to control this thing. But I went ahead and just. Uh, did you say it's a shark? Yes, a, land, a shark that swims on a land, a land shark. What? Makes it's sense. got a like, uh, it's got like a straw hat on, you know, like one of those, that, like a bowl looking kind of thing, and also like a lay around its neck. What? And it's really, it looks like it's in a good. You heard what I said. It's in a good. It looks like it's in a really good mood. <laughs> Y'all forget who my. You can uh, make. You can make my the special weapon look like anything you want. What? This is good. It's the symbol of. It's the symbol of Buffett. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to understand it. I'm not, I'm not Look against it. Up, it. Okay, you know what a parrot head is, right? Yeah. It's a, it's a shark. It's a happy shark dressed like a parrot head. Okay, I love it. <laughs> See, I thought you were making a bottle of beer show up, so. That, oh man. All right, next time. <laughs> I next was time, man. Be, I thought it was going to be one of those Margaritaville machines. <laughs> That makes you. Uh, well, I thought a beast looks cool. It, the shark will look cooler, even though I can't the, have Yeah, one. the land shark uh, as an actual shark, as opposed to land shark beer, makes a lot more sense. Yeah, it's more. Yeah, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to like take it and have it not be so literal, but like kind of like if there there is a Buffett, and his name his yeah. first name is not Jim, but you know <laughs> it's it's still Buffett. Anyway, sure. um, Buffett. did you get hurt, Nuval? No, I did. <laughs> Get hurt, but Yeti That's did not. Friend universe. Um, I'm gonna hit you with uh. Oh wait, no, I can't. Never mind. I'm I'm good. That's it. Drop some hot healing. Okay. Uh, Sarge, you were up. Top of the turn order. You have muted yourself. Nope. Oh, you look very... I'm sorry, was I gone long yeah. enough for me to... Yeah. Oh, sorry, just for... Okay, I thought I skipped my... going. Whoa, what was that? Sarge, you're muted. <laughs> oh, I... Fly I, across sorry. the chasm. Chop the Yeti's head off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I Did do you that. jump across the uh, cavern? Yeah. The... The, the ravine? The cliff? Crevasse! Absol Absolutely. I throw a device out of my pocket to, like, the spot on the other side of the cliff, and I, with Misty Step, I instantly, my body is teleported to that location you where the device is. pull some Apex is. Legends shit, the thief girl. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's my action. I'm going to... No, Misty Step was on his action. You realize you're in melee range no, of that. Misty Step yeah, is this, this Yeti is... Oh, Misty Step is a bonus action. Yeah. Yeah, yep. I know. Yeah, I know. 
Uh, okay. Then action, I will uh, blade ward myself. Nah, this is for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, that's, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Step and then Blade. Okay. And then Blade Ward. And I'll move here. That's it. Okay. It is now this Yeti's turn up here. He comes over here and he's going to try and grapple the woman. No. Um, let's see. No. Let's see. What is her. I mean, their strength is crazy. It's plus four. So. Um, he rolled a 16. No. Let's see what she rolls. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Natural 20. Natural 20. Natural 20. She rolls a 16 as well. So, somehow, this Yeti comes over and his huge, humongous hand wraps around her, but she just barely manages to slip underneath it and steps to the side over here. Uh, it is now her turn. She's going to do a disengage and run over to this corner over here. And she yes. is looking like she yes. is going to attempt to hop across the cavern, uh, across the crevasse over here. She's got a distance of uh, 15 feet to to get across, so she backs up a little bit. Damn. Um, it is now... I should have picked her. Nubal, it is your turn. Go ahead and roll to try and get out of being paralyzed. Nope, still paralyzed. Okay. I got a six. <laughs> All right. Sam, your turn. All right. So the bridge is difficult terrain, right? That's correct. Essentially, with right. the, the high speed of the wind and the kind of nature of rope bridges, you're going to be not going full speed. And it's rounded down, I assume? Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. down. Okay. One moment, let me double check. The, the Yetis go. Okay. <laughs> magic missile, the Yeti. Like, basically, uh, slots in one of my, like, one of my arms of my armor, like, opens up uh -huh. and just launches, like, energy darts. With some magic missiles? Yep. Cool. Okay. Nice. All right, let's see. Magic missiles, three darts. All of them are going to the Yeti. One uh, D four plus. All right. Should I just roll all of them at once and just roll three D four plus three? Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, nine force damage. All right. Hell Two yeah. one Yeti. Uh, the Yeti that's standing over my uh. Your buddies. Co works. Okay. And with that, it is now to use turn. All right. I am going to steady aim psychic blade, oh. Yeti. Nice. Real quick, could I favorite foe that as a bonus action for next round? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Continue. Okay. No, you're good. So it cancels out the disadvantage I have. Correct. Dang it! Nine. Okay, um, your shot goes wide and cuts one of the boards, and you see the board fall down into the crevasse. <laughs> no. uh, also, if you attack this one, you don't really need advantage. You can just attack because we're and we're next to it. You get uh, you'd you still get, get sneak, sneak attack. attack. But she's at disadvantage from the air. Oh, so. right. Still not failed. Um, uh, that's my turn. Okay, it is now Yeti Boy here. He is going to turn to you, Sarge. He's going to make two attacks. Uh, there's going to be two claws. Uh, with his keen sense of smell. He turns it around. First attack is a 24 to hit. The second attack is going to be a 21 to hit. And that is... Yes. 1d4 plus... 1d plus 4. What is this uh, damage? It is going to be slashing damage. 1d4 plus 4. All of this is half then. Because of Blade Ward. And then there is an additional 1d6 uh, cold damage. 
cold damage does not have. Are you resistant to cold? Uh, no. No. Okay, then that is also added in there. Oh, just because I'm blue, you think that I'm <laughs> resistant to cold? Okay. I just Racist. got. I got it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask around. All right, which, which, which one of these is? <laughs> which one of these is? So, so what's the damage out of this? Right now, you're looking at fifteen plus two plus five at twenty-two damage. Twenty-two damage. And wait, I'm sorry. What? What of that is the slashing? Um, you have fifteen damage of slashing and seven of cold. Okay, so half. What's it? What's half fifteen? We'll say seven. Seven? Okay. And how much cold damage was it again? Seven. Oh, so 14 total. All right, so did you put up a shield? Okay. Uh, No, it wouldn't have helped anyway. What cut it in half? Was it the blade? Blade ward. Blade Blade ward, ward. yeah. Blade ward gives me... Yeah, blade ward gives me... uh, Barbarian resistance, uh, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Fantastic. Okay, so you take 14 damage, and uh, that is its turn. However, <clears throat> the Yeti can use its chilling gaze and make two claw attacks, so it's also going to need you to make a uh, constitution saving throw. Ooh. Me? Con save? Okay. Yep. Ooh, 20. Oh, God. Okay, with that... 18 plus 2. Fuck yeah. Uh, it looks at you... And you're like, what? And it moves on. Okay. Oh, uh, no damage from, no, like, half damage from saving? Just, just done? Nope. Yep. Uh, it's, awesome. It's it, it's a saver suck. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Dwarf, you are up. <clears throat> Dang. I don't know what... Do. Does um Ah no that's my bonus action. Uh well I'm definitely just gonna use my bonus action to attack the spiritual weapon and try to get that yeti out of here. That is a D twelve, so let me actually roll the correct dice. Okay. Dang two! Fuck! Dang! Alright. I missed and I need to cast something. Um. Uh. Hold on, guiding bolts range. I'm sorry, I just don't want to do something I can't do. He's guiding bolts range. Uh, I want to say that also since you. 120 since, feet. Uh, the chilling gaze was unsuccessful on you. Sarge, it is no longer going to work for the next hour, so you are immune to chilling gaze from here on out. Oh yeah. I got a 19 to hit that guy. Okay, you hit. Hell oh, yeah. I'm gonna cast... Yes. What? Can I retroactively cast at a second level, or do I need to do that before? Go ahead and do it. Alright, cool. Then... 5d6. Very late, very late. 6. 6 is 12. Plus 1 more. 3 is 15. For 80 and damage. Yeah, just... And the next tackle made against this target before the end of my next turn has advantage. That's the well. Alright. Nice. Uh, speaking of next attack, it is going to be Sarge's turn. Sarge is not going to attack. Sarge got wrecked. He only wanted to come over here to help her, and he's going to use his bonus action. And move here, use his bonus action to in to uh, decrease her density. Okay. So now she has ten feet of movement. If she makes that jump, she's got uh, double her jump and oh, ten extra feet of movement. <laughs> and I'm going to he's going to use his bonus action to step back here. <laughs> Hell yeah! That's Whoop. hey. I needed to get within range to do that. For that's the only awesome. reason I wanted to go over there, dude. Fuck and, it. and awesome. I'll. Bonus. Uh, I'll. Well, I guess firebolt the. Uh, this yeti. 
Yes. Uh, 21 to hit. That hits. Uh, seven damage. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hey. So, um, but up, but up. Let's miss you stuff. I can keep moving. Um, uh, the okay. you yeah, when you here. do this attack, when you do fireball on the creature, you see it suddenly rear up, and you can tell that uh, for some reason. Oh, by the way, you had advantage on that attack from uh, Thwarf. Oh yeah, <clears throat> yeah. You're rolling. Uh, let me roll to see if I crit. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, no, no crit. Okay. Um, Sorry. but. Somehow you can see that the creature has an intense fear of fire, and it's going to have disadvantage on its attack roll. So, uh, I'm going to put a little flame next to it. If we have one, do we have a little flame thing? I don't see one. Some kind of that's too bad. Thing, I think. There, that's close enough. Um, yeah, this should be better. Ooh, 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 I have an idea. What? So it has disadvantage on its next attack. Um, on attack rolls, on all of its attack rolls, until end of next turn. Um, okay, it is now this Yeti's turn up here, who is going to come down here to the girl, and he is going to make two claw attacks, attacking her. Uh, let's see here, claw one, claw two. That's a twenty to hit. The second one is a nineteen to hit. Both hit. That's going to be. 1d6 plus 4. Um, let's see if I can pull that up. The dice roller. 1d6 plus 4. Times 2. A total of 10 damage. And then 2d6 of cold damage. Uh, she takes 19 damage. And huh? is still standing. She down? Um she's about you can tell that definitely hurt her she's limping a little bit but not enough to dissuade her from uh disengaging and making a leap of faith crossing <gasps> over here with double jump um Woo! long jump is now 20 feet instead of 10 getting her across the thing and with that she lands here oh yeah does a three point uh, superhero land and pulls out her bow and it readies for the next attack on her next turn. Fennec has escaped uh, the danger with her uh, involved. Nuval, however, it is your turn. You are still paralyzed. Let's see if you can break out of this. Bust and bust out. It's a one plus two, so I'm still paralyzed. <sighs> All right, Sam. See if you All can... right. One moment. I had to put my computer back on the charger. Let me go ahead and bring it over. Okay. <clears throat> Did I see the Yeti react negatively? Uh, yeah, yes. Yes, you would have seen it. All right. Two, three, five, six. Alright. Hmm. Do I have anything extra or no? No, not really. Not unless I want to thunder wave my own uh, ally. Alright. I'm I'm going to go ahead and cast um, Fireball, sh shooting it out of uh, one of my arms. Uh, one moment, let me roll. Oh, a little. Yeah. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. You heard grandma, huh? Yeah. Wait, no. Why am I? It brings the cookies. All right. Oh, no, I probably missed. What'd you roll? Uh, eight. Okay, yes, that goes wide. Your firebolt goes into the blizzard, but somehow the wind kind of pushes it around, and, and it, you see it kind of fade off into the distance and, and fizzle out. May I make a nature check, just to know if it's generally a good idea to thunder wave on a snowy mountain uh, during a blizzard? Yeah, yeah, take a look. 
do, do a nature roll. All right. One moment. One moment. This will be your bonus action, yeah. If, if you're cool with that, yeah, I just wanted to yeah. make sure. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Oh. Can I keep... Twelve. Yeah. Um, um, you don't see how this could go wrong. Okay. <laughs> no, okay. I got a plan then. <laughs> that would go wrong. I end my turn. <laughs> okay. To you. You're up. Um, I start cutting down the bridge. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> that was always an option. <laughs> um, I'm gonna steady aim psychic blade again. See if that does anything. Yeah, go ahead. This will be just a normal roll. Twenty to hit. That hits. You did it. Awesome. I only hit him. Let me roll sneak attack. You, I don't think you get sneak attack because I am paralyzed. That's correct. Oh shit! Yeah. Wait, no, no. Uh, 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 uh. Spiritual weapon, land shark. It doesn't count as an ally. What? <laughs> I'll take Brian's position on. Okay, you. then. <laughs> I've played a lot of clerics, and nobody's ever included an ally for that purpose, sadly. Then that is just nine points of damage. Okay. Um, this You see the uh, Yeti is finally... He's on one knee as he's kind of... Shit. He's singed and burnt and, and is, like, cowering. However, it is now his turn, and he is going to attack Nuval with two uh, claw attacks. <laughs> But they're at disadvantage. So, the first attack is a one. How are they at disadvantage? Because he was burnt by, um, by fire. It's a straight roll, actually, though. Yeah, so, because of, uh, I'm paralyzed. they have advantage against a paralyzed, no, true, but true, disadvantage yeah. because of the fire. It's just okay. flat. The first roll is still a one. The second roll is an yeah. 18. So, it being a one, uh, I'm going to say it hits the, the bridge. It, it swings and it hits the bridge and you feel the bridge shake slightly. Um, but the second attack is going to hit you and it is going to be a 1d6 plus 4. It's a critical also. It's a critical. I'm paralyzed. Yeah, a paralyzed condition allows you to uh, critically hit for free if it's a melee. I, I, th I don't know if it's limited to melee, but I think it is. I did it, yeah, it is. I just looked it up because he said I'm paralyzed. But that's why Sorcerer Paladin builds are BS, because you can meta magic whole person smite. <laughs> okay. Well in that case, um feel the pain. Uh only seven damage. But that's I'm gonna good. add the cold to that, which will be half, so take uh nine damage. Nine total? Yep, nine total. Okay. All right, Dwarf, you're up. Mm -mm -mm. How are you looking, uh, Duval? If he could speak, he would say not good. <laughs> Wish I could. Do that, still tag. Bird. Man, you guys, and that bridge crossing. Um, I'm gonna keep on it with this guy. I'm gonna attack with my spiritual weapon. Seven plus six, thirteen. No, thirteen. Is it the Yeti? Okay. Right, well, that was a 13 on that, and then I'm also going to do Guiding Bolt again. A second 13 level. hits. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, then yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Uh, D8 plus spellcasting, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 11. 2 plus 4 is 6, so we take 6 um, shark damage from the weapon, <laughs> and then uh, another uh, second level Guiding Bolt. 11 plus 17 is probably going to hit, too. Yeah. So he's gonna need. Oh, oh, uh, 11, 13. Yeah. 18 plus. 
five is twenty-three radiant damage. Jesus. Okay. Um, you send a guiding <laughs> bolt across the bridge. You see it hit the yeti square in the chest, and it just blows it backward. Fuck yeah. Um, Sarge, it is now your turn. Uh. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to. I, I hate reading spells and figuring this just, out. Okay. Just looking at it, you see the other Yeti suddenly, like, basically scream and shout. And it turns around, getting ready to run. Towards us? Away from you. Great. Uh, Hell yeah. Make an intelligence save. Have him make an intelligence save. Okay. DC 14. He's got a negative one to that. <coughs> um, he sees in his mind, he sees this, none of us see it, a line of fire come. <gasps> yes. Okay. And in blocking off in between us and him. And he does take... He takes two, uh, oh, what is the damage? I think it's just like psychic damage. He takes two psychic damage, but he thinks that it's from the fire. Okay. Um, when... And he feels the heat from the Phantasmal Force spell that I just cast on him. He thinks that Fuck yes. the fire is burning him. Okay. With that, the you see him rear up on his hind legs, um... What? Like, hit his, <laughs> hit his chest. <laughs> like, you know, like, gorillas, I mean, they tend to walk on their on their knuckles. Um, traditional. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got you. Yeah, like, like. I got, I got it. It was just the way Justin said that. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, well, I mean, we all assume a yeti to be, you know, like a bipedal guy, yeah. right? Yeah, I, I was thinking that, but I, yeah, I, I see the the knuckle thing. Yeah, like kind of like a troll Skyrim kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he yes. rears up, beats his chest, shouts, and suddenly turns and flees. Um, and and he disappears into the blizzard. You see the dead corpse of his uh, mate in the snow. Um, gain suddenly. Uh, steam coming off of it as snow builds up around it and quickly melts. I don't know. I feel like I made a mortal enemy. Uh, Fennec over here like lays down in the snow and just breathes heavily for a while. Uh, I'm gonna go check her out and uh, see if she needs any uh, medical attention. I will carry my After paralyzed companion. After um, the fight, I roll a natural 20 WM3. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, all right, wow. guys, I'm ready. <laughs> oh. What happened? Okay, never mind. You can carry yourself. <laughs> um, Buddy. As you approach uh, um. Fennec, she says, she, uh, she goes, oh, my back. Oh, fucking oh. yetis. Hold, hold still, I say, as I uh, pull up. Um, the herbalism kit that I haven't given back yet. <laughs> um, take some plants that, uh, burn very well. Um, plaster them on my torch, light up my torch, and channeling magic through the herbs will carterize the wounds, casting cure wounds. Hell yeah. Okay, you, uh, the claw marks on her back suddenly, um, cauterize, uh, in a very painful manner. Um, but <laughs> she's going to be okay. Um, Are you a spell? Are you a priest? She goes, oh, God, this is what I deserve for running off like that. I shouldn't uh, I shouldn't have ran up into that blizzard. The way, it just came so quickly. I didn't but see... But you're, you're okay, right? You're, you're, but you're fine now, right? I, I am. I am. I'm gonna be okay. That's crazy that that same Yeti you were warning us about was just attacking you, and that we came and saved you from it. That's wild. You've been following me, and I've been following you. Why are you following, following us? us? What? Explain <laughs> yourself. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. <sighs> it's, uh, you all are heading for the cave, right? 
Yeah. The barbarians, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I guess heading. I don't know where they're heading, man. I've been tracking you with this, and she holds up a lantern. Um, I'm going to show it to you all and hands it to you. Um, oh, jeez, I don't have that. I must have not have done that. Anyways, it's a lantern of tracking. Um, I need to oh, put shit. the description on it. I will do so uh, right now. Let me find a lantern of tracking. She hands it to you and says, I've been using this to, to follow you all because I figured <coughs> you'd, you'd need some help if you were heading for the... I could tell you were heading for the cave and I need to tell you if you go into the cave and you're approached by a berserker don't even try and kill it they've Why not? I was one of she's a you can see that she has a tattoo of a bear on her uh, neck and uh, she was I was I was part of the bear tribe that those berserkers used to be of in the cave of the bear and since they took that flame, they've completely changed and become just insane monstrosities that can't even be killed. You can't go in there. You can't kill them. Well, we do have to go in there. You gotta uh, try. This flame is important to our mission. Uh, and uh, it was stealthily. She goes. I concur. How many of your companions? I, I turned to a. Uh, what's your character's name? Who, Wait, does my character? Uh, who takes the lantern of tracking? She gives it to us. Yes. I'll take it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Snatch it from her. Dis disingenuous. Which I one? Which just one of the lanterns? All this. My name? Yeah. Sure. There you guys. What is it? To you. All right. My character's like, I agree with to you. Um, how many of you are adept with uh, stealth operations? I look up at this guy and just kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> I can be stealthy. Can you? I can. Plus you to stealth. I've got, I haven't got any thoughts still. Oh, I'm just so used to you brushing in. I mean... <laughs> I mean, okay... But, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Can't you do Stay. something three, four, five, six times and you think it, it's, it's like, you, you just like you do every time. Yeah, but, you know, saved her ass. She goes, yeah. Oh, yeah. One, one more thing. Have you all seen a white dragon recently? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we took it be a long time ago and we're raising its, we were trying to make a weapon out of them. But unfortunately, they they got the flame, and they're still holding on to the to the eggs. If you can get the eggs back, you might. There may be something that we could do with that. Uh, would it make? Why did you separate from the group again? Crazy? Um, she tells you a story of how uh, she disagreed with. Um, taking holy objects from other people and kind of yep. left the clan um, before they stole the flame and were uh, basically corrupted by Aural. So she is a uh, barbar uh, ranger barbarian who uh, of the bear of the bear tribe Listen. but before they were corrupted. Listen, why don't you come with us? You know a lot. You could help us. You could, you know, help make things right. She goes... They don't need that flame. You know that. She goes, all right. All right, I'll help you. And, uh... Thank you. She... Predator handshake, pick her up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she sits on the back of the, uh... Axie. Oh, yeah. uh, Josie? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll just scoot up. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank. So, what kind of uh, <laughs> what what kind of uh, charisma check is uh, is a uh, dwarf man put the moves on? Yeah, go ahead. No, that, that, that's uh, that seemed. Uh, I just assumed. That's apparently what there was no question that uh, I could pull that off. 
Yeah, Swift I mean, she's hurt. Just a fire roll. She's hurt. She's not gonna. What? What is she gonna say? No. We saved, I mean, we saved her ass. Look at look at because... where she's at. Look at the implications. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course she can what say no. What are you talking about? She can say no implications. <laughs> She can leave at any moment, but you know, with all this yeah. fog and the and the blizzard and yeah, with the yeah. people that she knows, she's not going to say no because of the implication. <laughs> you keep using that word. Okay. <laughs> what aren't you getting about this? <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, she gets on. She uh, plus she she's injured. She kind of like uh, she's got her bow on her back. Um, she's hanging on to you, Thorf, on the back of the axe beak, uh, as mm -hmm. you all get going for the rest of the way. Now, as she approaches, as you all approach the mouth of the cave, she warns you that, um, she's like, when she left, those eggs were, uh, due to hatch at any point. So, she's like, keep that in mind. You guys are all level four, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Dragons we need to go in and online. extinct. We need to go in, get the flame, and go out. That's and we need to get the eggs too. And these eggs, apparently. Yeah. Um, I have a feeling you're not going to be in the same place. Yeah. So as you approach the next day, um, you all. I'm going to say who's going to scout ahead because because she even though she tells you she's like okay you need to go up a, a, a very narrow path that's going to lead to the mouth of the cave and she actually tells you that there's a second entry to this complex um to the side that is for a waste chute for um trash oh, yeah. and other things that you could potentially use to access the uh, thing. This has Rogue with a magic lantern yeah. written all over it. Okay, let's go. I give, I give you the, I give you the magic lantern to you. Oh, um, wait. <clears throat> okay, so I'll, uh, I'm gonna do Cat's Grace and give you advantage on. Well, do you want? I, can, can I help you in some way? I could enhance one of your abilities for an hour while you do this thing. Or, or can she be? Is she going to be that far out, or too far out to do that? Oh no! Um, you could. You're basically going to be at the base, at the mouth of the cave, um, just yeah. out of sight. At the at the base of the kind of pathway up to up to the cave, and. Um, so she could she could get up in there and in, inside of an hour. Yeah! 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 Okay. If cool. You all, if well you then, all yeah. Kind of, you all make uh, the rest of the trek up to there to the uh, cave, and <clears throat> upon uh, getting there, you see. <clears throat> oh wow! Wow! Oh, that's ominous. Well, shit. We should not do this. What do I see? What do I see? Oh, cool! Hell yeah! <laughs> so, what's the so worst that can happen if you turn Who's... into an elephant? So the eggs are hatched, and also they grew up. They're they're adult dragons. They're babies. No, the parents are back for their eggs. No, Who's those are carry the eggs, those are wormlings. They just look those huge are? because they're wormlings. Yeah, they uh -huh. have they have names also. Let me let me go find those names. I think it's like Trix and Bix or something. Yeah. What's that? The, ba the babies are so big. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Tricks and Bix. Tricks and Bix. Bix. So, they could have. Uh, the babies are so big because the adult version of it is just humongous. That's true. <laughs> yes. Humongous Bix. Mm. Humongous Bix. <laughs> so, um, Sarge, if we don't get this flame. Will you go insane, or you just change physically? Yes. We're getting him that flame. Uh, I very deadly seriously, I say yes to both. I uh, um, to you. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you the owl system. Oh, their name is Galim and Tizar. That is hell yeah. Wildly different from what you said before. <laughs> 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 Yeah. 
that's true. Uh, uh, so... Two, you got advantage on wisdom for an hour. Advantage uh, on wisdom. Okay. I'm gonna perception. I'm gonna stay with the group, but I'll send my uh, familiar up with to you. Okay. Um, and Kim. what's the distance that it possibly is away from the group? Because I have a message I can go with and try to be like a middleman. So, uh, yeah. I think you approach the uh, cave mouth um, and uh, we're going to probably leave it until next week. Awesome. She heads off into the darkness. Yeah. Um, you look to the but you look to the right um, to an area where uh, Fennec told you that there would be a small shoot and you see an opening in the mountainside. Um, I'm gonna keep revealing what's going on for you guys. Yes. There we go. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, we can walk up and talk to the wormlings, or we can try to sneak in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As dragons seem like options. Yeah. Oh, so here's a little tunnel. Oh, yeah, let's go that way. Oh, you think? <laughs> So what we'll do is, um, for now, it's just forth. going to be two of you heading in uh, uh, by yourself, it seems. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, we'll I can go to you, right? I can go yeah. to okay. Look, plus three to stealth. Or up the chute? Yeah, you all can decide um, order and who goes in, who who survives, and, and everything else. But um, What? Huh? And... Uh, yeah. So uh, that's where we're at. Oh, also, the, this is a weird map. It's actually 10 feet um, grid. I, I hate it. I could not figure out how to get the grid to look an overlay. Uh, mood. Oh, it is 10. We're so small. I actually, I was actually running Tyranny of Dragons group, and I had to... Uh, Modify a dungeon to work in hexes. Or a five foot dungeon map into a ten hex dungeon map. Yeah, I would hate that. Um, this is uh, everyone is going to be forty by forty dimension uh, pixels. So that's yeah, that's the case. Um, cool. Okay. Awesome. Sounds good. Good luck, guys. Yeah. I don't like it when you say that. We can do it. We're a big, awesome team. Buffett is on our side. <laughs> okay. If uh, not, I have a backup uh, Goliath character. Everyone should have backup characters. Oh, yeah. We got <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> I already. Okay, guys. Uh, I think we'll conclude here for today, and we'll get going next week. All right, sounds good. All right, see y'all. Bye, bro. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Bye.